friends, welcome back. Today I've got a recipe cook with me video. It is a keto approved, low carb, loaded cauliflower soup in the Instant Pot. If you are new around here, I do hope that you enjoy this video. And if you do enjoy it, consider hitting the subscribe button to join the family. We'd love to have you along. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around, show the ingredients, and then jump right into the recipe. This is, as I mentioned, keto and low carb approved. We have never tried this before, so I'm crossing my fingers that it turns out delicious. All right, so starting off, you're going to need one tablespoon of olive oil for sauteing the onions, one medium yellow onion, chopped finely, one head of cauliflower, three cups of chicken broth. I am using this reduced sodium bone broth from Walmart, garlic powder, salt, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese, or you could do one cup of sharp cheddar and one cup of sharp white cheddar, one half cup of heavy whipping cream, two third cup bacon bits or crumbled bacon. I'm using the pre-cooked bacon bits from Aldi and a four ounce can of diced green chilies. So I am going to go ahead and turn this on to the saute mode and add my olive oil. I'm just eyeballing here. And I'm going to add my onion, which I have diced up already. And we're gonna saute this until the onion is translucent. So that's gonna go ahead and heat up and that's gonna take a few minutes. While this is happening, I am going to get my cauliflower prepped and ready to go as well. All right, as you can see, this has really woo, started to brown and the onions are pretty much cooked. I did add some mint garlic to this because we just love garlic. So at this point, you're going to add in the three cups of chicken stock which will make it stop making noise. You're also going to add in the cauliflower, carefully so you don't get splash back. And the salt, which I'm just gonna eyeball. Same with the garlic powder. Now you're going to put the lid on. Make sure your steam valve is closed. And then you're going to do a manual high pressure for five minutes. So I've got that on five minutes. It's gonna go ahead and cook. And then once that's done, we're gonna do a quick release to release the pressure, which means you just open up the valve and let it go. Timer just went off, so I'm gonna go ahead and release this, let the steam out, and then I will show you what's next. All right, so as you can see, it is cooked. You can tell this by looking at the cauliflower. If you have an immersion blender, go ahead and use it now to blend this right in the pot. I do not, so I'm going to transfer to my Vitamix and then blend there. So this is my container. I'm going to try to carefully transfer this without burning my hands off. All of it is in here. I'm going to blend this until smooth and then we will continue. I am just going to turn this on. And I did take the cover off to let the hot air out. I'm gonna go low. And now I'm going to put the lid back on and turn it up a little bit higher. And with the Vitamix, you don't need long. So we're gonna transfer this back into the Instant Pot and add the rest of the ingredients. So transferring this back in, it is the consistency of like a pureed potato soup. So that's good news. Next, you're going to add your half and half, no, nope, heavy cream, and your cheese of choice. And then stir until everything is melted and ooey gooey. At this point, I do still have the machine on keep warm setting. If you don't have an instant pot, I'm sure you have a warmer setting. That cheese melted like instantly. <laughs> I might actually add more cheese to it depending on the flavor, but I'm just starting with two cups and we'll see how it goes. But that is completely combined. You can see, I mean, I think you can probably see that that is pretty uh, smooth consistency. And then you're gonna add your green chilies and your bacon bits. Oh, it smells good. The chilies do. Yummy. All right, so we're gonna get his reaction to this. He knows what it is and he says he does like cauliflower, so it's not like, I'm trying to completely dupe him. It's not super high. It feels hot. Like the bowl. I, just, I just tasted it though. That's deceptive. Why is the bowl so hot? 
Yeah, it's good. It tastes like creamy potato soup. Right? Doesn't taste like cauliflower, does it? No, not at all. And there is exactly zero potatoes in that. There is some bacon. Yeah. And green chilies. That's really good. And cheese. Pretty decent, huh? Not gonna be any of this left by the time you're ready to eat. Yeah. This will be on the rotation, I think. For sure. This is so good. Pardon the lighting. I'm not gonna try and fix it right now, but I do want to try and taste this and see what it tastes like. That's amazing. It tastes just like potato soup. I am impressed. I am gonna add more cheese just because I love cheese, so why not? But that is it. So at this point, you can either keep it on the warm setting and keep it right in the Instant Pot until you are ready to serve, or if you're ready for dinner, serve it up and you're good to go. You can top it with more bacon bits and cheese if you wanted to. Sour cream would also be a good topping on this. Great alternative to potato soup if you are on low carb or keto. I don't have macros on this, so please don't even ask. I just kind of wing it and just keep my serving size in check. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you try this recipe out. I would love to know what you think or if you've already tried it or a similar recipe, let me know. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.